Uh, hello everybody, welcome to another tutorial of scale. In this one I will be showing you how to perform a semantic uh, differential test. We will be using um, as example uh, a test that we created in another tutorial and uh, the name of it was uh, sem differential uh, tutorial actually not not uh, good uh, not correctly written but um, it doesn't matter at the moment so yeah we just uh, select our test and press uh, confirm uh, i already registered myself uh, so i don't need to complete again the registration process you can see in another tutorial how uh, to make to perform this uh, registration process. So, yeah, I will just write here my name, my uh, surname, which I write always uh, wrong at the beginning. So, yeah, like this, my, the month uh, of birth and the year 1986. So, yeah ready then login and start uh, we don't have any example um, I think in uh, this test so we just start uh, directly with our test here are the instructions uh, these are like the general instructions when we set or when we prepared our test there was the, this field uh, the general instructions so these uh, are here uh, so we wrote, please, subject, make the following text. Thanks for your participation. If you have any question, ask your master. So, yeah, then continue. And those are the scenarios from the test. Uh, we made them uh, auto, so we have to start with uh, scenario 1, and then will be scenario 2, 3, 4, 5. So, yeah, everything is set. Uh, now we would press uh, the button, the button, next and we will start with first scenario so as you see when we uh, start with the scenario here uh, are the instructions that we wrote as a scenario instructions that can be different from one scenario to another but we made all the same normally you made all the same so the instruction just says uh, please rate the following items uh, or comparisons. You, you would write here a little bit uh, better in a real test saying uh, um, make this after listening to the stimuli or to the samples. But um, anyway, we just get our sample. Uh, here are the different uh, comparing uh, items. Uh, I don't remember now how it uh, sounded so I will just uh, repeat it. Okay, now I remember, but actually uh, most of this uh, adjective, uh, we just played one uh, a single uh, tone, so yeah, I will be just totally inventing it. So loud, we will put, uh, it was not too loud, deep, uh, it was not too deep, frightening, uh, it was ex extremely frightening, frightening. Um, hard, soft, um, like this, like this. I'm totally inventing it, really. Oops. So now I'm moving uh, the last uh, slider. So uh, when I will uh, end my movement. The button continue it will activate because I will have moved all the all I will all the sliders of the items. I can also not move it, just click click on them. But we have to click in all of them in order to activate the button continue because uh, this way we avoid that that the subject forgot something. Um, yeah, so we press now continue and we make uh, scenario number two. Yeah, we will also make uh, no sense, nonsense uh, evaluation like this, and here, and so, and so. 
So, yeah, actually about the scale, uh, here is loud and soft. And here is zero and three. Uh, this really pff, doesn't matter because there is the, the scale. I mean, that's, this, that matters when uh, you are uh, analyzing uh, your results. So, because do you know how uh, your results uh, are made? Then uh, during the analyzing process, you will know what means one. Uh, what means zero, what means two, um, in relationship with, uh, so for example, loud and soft. Uh, but you will see this in the tutorial of uh, analyzing results. With some more results, they will uh, make. Um, yeah, continue. So we would basically perform the five scenarios. Uh, nothing special will happen, so you can skip this video until fast to the end. I think I don't have to explain anything else important. Uh, yeah, so you can skip nearly till the end of the video because scenario four will be the same and five also. So here, here. Uh, scenario 5 actually it will be a little bit different because I think we selected more than one sample. As uh, we've seen in the, the most scenarios, we had only one sample in our sample vector, so we just press repeat and or they, the scenario starts and we hear the sample. I think the button repeat was limited until three times. Yeah, now this appears. Okay. Yeah, uh, finished. And now, now the scenario five, which uh, I think it there we load more than one sample, it will look like this. We had three samples in scenario five, so they just play one after the other. Uh, we select also. Um, to not have uh, a pause between them. So, yeah, that is like it, like it is. And, uh, yeah, we also invent this, put some to the maximum. Why not? And this one to one, and this one, we leave it in zero. Continue. So, uh, yeah, our test is uh, finished. Uh, as I said uh, in other tutorials, this, um, this button, normally, it's uh, continue. And when we have all the scenarios completed, it's set to finish. This uh, interrupt button, this uh, allows uh, the subject to interrupt the test after a certain number of... Um, yeah, like he makes scenario one and two, then he wants to stop, then he press interrupt. And then when um, he wants to continue, we just... Uh, we, we select the test, and then when he logged in with uh, his account, uh, then and he can select between continue and or new start with the test. If he selects continue, uh, this window will open again uh, and he will continue with the last scenario he following, the scenario following the last scenario he performed. Uh, yeah, and results from a subject that had not complete a uh, whole test can be also analyzed, uh, um, but only the scenarios that he completed. So. Yeah, stop the talking and uh, we just press finish. Uh, the scenario is complete and scale opens again and uh, until here this tutorial about performing um, semantic differential test. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, if watch more tutorials if you want to learn more about um, scale. Thank you and bye.